This is a reading of Brenda's blog titled, Hello, Rose-Colored Glasses. Dear ones, perhaps you fear that yesterday is still part of your being. That, despite all your transition work, nothing ever changes in your life. Change is inevitable. Nothing is static or stationary, for the universes are constantly evolving. And even though it might seem as if the Earth was static throughout the ages, historians can point out how 3D humanity evolved from cave dwellers to the modern home filled with technology. In addition, humanity constantly evolves from infant to old age. The difference now is you have so many unknowns. Your body is changing, as are your thoughts and actions. At the same time, you expect a sudden shift from fear to love, like turning on a light switch. What you have not noticed is how you shifted already in your thoughts and actions, such as nearly here nor there. Merely a reminder, you have changed. In this new phase, you may feel as if you have reverted to the fears of yesterday. You might catch visual glimpses of past actions or fears. The difference is you are filled with enough self-love to experience those glimpses or sensations with a new approach, a new feeling. For you are not reverting. Instead, you are changing those images within your being. Even though you may not have yet acknowledged those fear pieces within this 3D life that added to your current fears, you are likely revisiting those times or places. This is the first stage of time travel, if you will, to relabel, re-imprint those frightening times and places into a neutral or even loving environment. Perhaps you declare such is not possible, that it is what it is. We remind you that you are a powerful being, fully capable of changing your perceptions, if you wish. It is time to review those pieces that altered your self-love in this lifetime. Some of you are even extending that review to before this lifetime. It does not matter what you wish to address or why, merely that you are clearing those pieces that you have hidden from yourself. Even though some of you reviewed those lives or events through a regression process, you did so for a reason. Most likely, you explored those pieces to understand why you functioned as you did. This phase is to change your perceptions of that action or time. So it is you will be addressing those times through new self-love lens. This phase is to change your lens to what you might label as rose-colored glasses. Such as not to say your 3D fears were not valid when you were living in and creating fear but that you are now in a love-based time, addressing those actions and fears differently. Perhaps you will better understand if you remember your history books. The victors most often wrote those books. The same actions or times appear different from those who lost the battle or war. So it is you can read two histories about one event and obtain two different perspectives. You are now doing the same, changing your perspective from fear to love. Perhaps you'll discover you did this to someone before they did that to you. Or not. From whatever perspective you decide to view those times, it will be with love instead of fear or hate. Your first forays into your fears of this life might be frightening enlightening, or fun. It does not matter. All that matters is that you revisit those deeply hidden fears, impacting your ability to accept or love yourself. Once your self-love dominates, others in your fear places will shift in your perspective also. Revisiting the past with a different perspective is not about you forgiving others. It is about you forgiving you. For little patches of fear have accumulated within your psyche for eons, 
and continue to affect you. At this moment, many of you cannot understand how you can forgive or forget something that someone of a political party, co-workers, employers, neighbors, family members, or others said or did. Such feelings will be forgiven when you forgive yourself. Many of you contend you have cleared and cleared and cleared throughout this transition, and so you have. But these hidden fear pieces are those you collected throughout your earth lifetimes that do not seem justified by your memories. Why do you immediately dislike or like someone? Why are you afraid of water, fire, dogs, knives, or whatever? The first foray into shifting your perspective will most likely be hidden fears from this lifetime. Once you change those perspectives, others will probably fall into place almost automatically. Of course, some of you overachievers are acting on this phase 24 hours a day via daytime memories and dream actions. Whatever your process, this phase will change your personal perspectives in ways you cannot now imagine. What was terrible or frightening will be neutralized. And what was joyful will become more so. For those joyful memories were often surrounded by the fears of what if, not because what if was your reality at even that time, but your fears from similar past experiences always negated some of your choice. If you like, you can imagine you're rewriting your entire earth history as a victor instead of the victim. Or better yet, that you have just purchased a beautiful set of rose-colored glasses that will remove your what-ifs forever. So be it. Amen.